Animal Gem video, and today I decided to do something a little bit different. So usually I make videos which are like, you know, let's play of Animal Gem, sort of like a Minecraft let's play, except not Minecraft let's play, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. But anyways, today what I'm going to do is, since I just figured out how to use this editing program, I just decided to speed up the video and to sort of talk about some things in Animal Jam. So the first thing that I decided to talk about is make your own adventure, which I think would be a really cool feature. I talked about this in a video before, but that video didn't really explain why I really want to add Make Your Own Adventure, and the reason why is because there are so many different jammers which ideas that they are sending into AGHQ, and AGHQ cannot add in every single, all these millions and millions of adventures the jammers are coming up with ideas for, but most of them are really cool ideas that I think would make a really cool thing, and just like we can decorate dens and just like we can play adventures, we can sort of combine those things and make what's called a Make Your Own Adventure, and I know that a lot of you guys would probably like this idea, because sometimes you come up with a really cool idea for a Make Your Own Adventure, or an adventure that Animal Jam you really want them to make, but you can't really contact them and get them to do what you want them to do, and it's sort of difficult to get your ideas heard, because there's so many millions of players on the game. And I think that this would be a really cool feature because so many jammers would enjoy it. Also, there are a couple more features that I can that I would like Animal Jam to add, but I think that Animal Jam's really being really cool. Now there's this new Hearthstone thing that's being added, and there's lots of cool other things that are being added in this next update. But another thing that I noticed that was being added in this next update was the bottles in Crystal Sands. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the news. It talks about these bottles which are being added to Crystal Sands, and there's messages in them and an exclusive item. I think this might be just for Night of the Phantoms, but I would love if they would keep this going. I'm writing down the different messages in a Google Docs that I never, ever, ever forget what these messages are, because I'm thinking maybe there might be a secret code if you write down all of the messages and look at them together. So I have the first two down so far. But I think that every other day they add a new bottle, or I'm pretty sure that's the pattern that's going on so far. And I'm really hoping that it's going to be, you know, it's just going to, they're going to keep going. And I also think that there are a lot of other things in Jamal that they could fix and that they could make better, especially one of the, the chat systems, one of them. The way that the chat system works, a lot of messages that should be allowed are not allowed, which is sort of stupid. But there's a lot of other features in the game which Jamal's Animal Jam is doing a really good job with. And but I've got a question for Animal Jam. In the Conservation Museum, there's this thing that almost nobody ever does, which is donating gems to the Wildcats. And I'm wondering why you're supposed to do this. Like, how can virtual money give anything to the Wildcats? I don't know. Maybe it's just people to set up to get people to have their awareness higher. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please tell me if you'd like more videos like this. And so, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And bye.